All right, see how easily this thing starts up? Make sure you watch the entire video. I did a really major boo-boo on maintaining these little Honda EU2000 generators. So what I'm going to show you in this video while it's running is this little hardline tachometer slash hour meter that I installed and mounting bracket and I ran into a couple of problems. You know a 15 minute job turned into a good hour and I'll show you the problem that I ran into and see if you can see it right here. Here it is in eco mode. I had to run this generator to stay warm basically due to that ice storm we had here in Oklahoma last week. I still have a lot of damage, especially to that tree, I still have to trim back. Made a big pile out front. The city will take care of all the ice, but it is about three quarters to one inch thick ice. Nasty, nasty, nasty. And I had that Honda on the back patio running full tilt to run my space heater inside here and it, it did pretty good you know kept the didn't warm the house but it kept the edge off but as you can see I'm very meticulous with my maintenance records and look at here oops <laughs> been a while since I changed the oil so I went down to, I had a coupon for O'Reilly's and went and used that and did a full service on this Honda Man, I tell you, it starts up and runs a heck of a lot better with good oil. So I picked up the hardline meter and mounting bracket on Amazon. And let me show you some stills here of my work installing this. And here it is, unboxing, essentially. And look right there. That's the float carburetor Pepcock drain valve. And with this bracket, you can't get to it. So I had to trim the bracket. You know, I just use the jigsaw with a metal cutting blade and grinder and test fit it there. And mounted the hard line to the bracket, going straight through the eyelets on the unit for better fitment. I use nylock nuts so they don't vibrate off. And as you can see, now you can get to the petcock, drain the float carburetor. And they say to do that after every use. Keep carbon and crap building up in the carburetor. There's a better view right there. All right, let me show you how I have this hardline RPM sensing wire attached to the spark plug wire on this Honda generator. Let's take a look right down here. I removed the cover for spark plug access. Let's get right down in here and show you how I have it attached. Used a couple of tie straps right here. This just wraps right, right around the spark plug wire. Spark plug right down there. Right there. And that feeds through the top. Goes right back from there, behind there, got another little tie strap right there, and that just feeds right into the hardline tack hour meter right there. That's all there is to it. Good to go. You know, some guys mount these meters on the outside of the Honda. I wanted to keep it inside, away from oil, gas, and the elements. To help protect it and it should be just fine all right hey thanks for watching hope this helps out you guys and we'll see you next time